Okay, let me, uh, <laughs> I wrote this a while ago. Oh, oh no. Um, uh, I've got other snippets, but uh, I thought I'll, yeah, I don't know. I thought I'll separate them. <laughs> I mean, I wrote a, a lot of things on a page, but they were like different topics. So I thought, mm, maybe I'll just uh, focus this video on this topic. Or should I combine it all into one video? No, I'll keep it like this. Uh, I have come to absolutely hate political liberalism. I didn't even know I was a liberal until I encountered its opposite, what I would call a non-ideological spiritual worldview. Uh, why do I hate... Uh, well, liberalism divides people and societies, or it, it uh, anyway, within societies, it sets people up against each other, thereby leading to its implosion, devolution. Within people, that is the individual, it creates an inner conflict, an anxiety. The self is divided against itself thereby leading to brokenness, moral decay, a type of never-ending misery, a kind of anxiety, unsatisfaction with life. Uh, because you're... Uh... <laughs> Liberalism is the work of the devil, a virus this, that destroys both societies and individuals alike. I don't like it at all. Uh, I am a spiritual person. We have a soul which is just as real as your body. It's important to keep that soul whole and not allow it to be broken by lies, inauthenticity. It's important to protect the integrity of the soul by being who you are, being true to your values, beliefs, living with integrity. I think this is what it means to be a whole person, someone who isn't gaslit by this deceitful society. What did Putin say? A society of lies? And he called the West. The West, the liberal West, is indeed a society of lies, and it wants you to believe in its BS. It thinks it wants to break you down and mold you into something you are not. Radical honesty is defiance against this deceitful society of lies. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let, me, uh, um, let me just read it. Time, yeah. Liberalism is a uh, destructive ideology. Yes, I think if uh, the cure to liberalism is being spiritual, being, I don't know, you have to be connected to, <laughs> to your home, to your land, to your people, to your family and community and you know when they talk about traditional values and things like that that's that's usually you know that's exact, sort of what they're hinting at but that idea is so politicized this is what the problem is in the west everything is so political it's so easy to divide you can set men against women um ethnic religious uh, con you know conflict this is something i noticed in the workplace like people are like so competitive they don't work in my experience anyway 
Uh, people like you don't feel like you're part of the workforce like in my lim very limited experience <laughs> when I was like uh, doing work experience uh, it's like there's a lot of competition and, and and people are like only looking out for themselves it's that whole like I, I blame this on liberalism I, I think it really divides people and the society will um, will fail they'll fail the, 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 the West is strong economically, militarily, but I think it's imploding from like because it's so like <laughs> divided, uh, you know. Especially liberal, like like the like the U.S. I'm, I don't. I think some countries in Europe are like only they're not like they're not like. Like if you take the UK, the US, maybe even Australia, um, like France or something, uh, Germany, you know, in these countries, they're, they're very, um, have this liberal thing going on. <laughs> Their societies are so divided. And, and, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know. This is very complicated, but anyway.